Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Lena and welcome back to another video. This is our new trend, weekly wrap-ups. Not gonna lie, I haven't <laughs> read a lot this week. I was reading like pre pretty like huge tomes this week, so I didn't get that much reading done. But <laughs> I also decided to uh, finish Attack on Titan. I had like four tomes left of the manga because it finished forever last week and I decided to do that. <laughs> so the only day that I was able to read, I just read that and I was so emotionally destroyed that I just, I just couldn't function throughout that whole day. This is me at 2 a.m. <laughs> After finishing the damn thing, I was just like messaging uh, my other friend that really likes like I'm trying to be just like, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I just, I'm even tearing up a bit right now. <laughs> let's, let's just get it done with with my, my, my sad existence now. And let's just talk about the books I read this week. So the first book that I finished was A Desolation Called Peace by Arcadi Martin. Give me a second and let me just put this here better. This is the second book after uh, A Memory Called Empire. And if you have been here a while, you know that I loved A Memory Called Empire. I thought it was a brilliant science fiction book. I love all the politics that were involved. Oh, there were so many great things about that one. And the sequel didn't disappoint me in the slightest. I love this also. <laughs> I think I gave them uh, the same rating, 4.5, but in Goodreads I rendered it up to a 5-star review. Review. <laughs> I love them both for different reasons. I believe this is a very different book from its predecessor. I don't know why, but basically in this one we follow the um, first contact trope. We basically, uh, we basically follow the same characters from the first book. I almost say the same book. Well, this ship comes out of nowhere basically and starts destroying the Texaclanum ships and uh, planets and colonies and everyone's just like, wait, what is going on? I love that. You know, as someone who loves first contact, I love this because even though the aliens were destroying everything, their priority wasn't just like, oh, we need to eliminate everything. It was just like, okay, we need to establish first contact. And I just love seeing that. It was great because, you know, they didn't know how these aliens communicate and that's hard. <laughs> it's something like in the arrival when they discovered like they use these different symbols. And you know what? That's fucking hard. <laughs> Deciphering a language without anything basically is virtually impossible. I loved having our two great girls back, three secrets and Mahit are fucking great. Like there's a scene here. I just don't want to spoil anything. I was just, I almost clapped. Like I almost clapped aloud. I was just like, finally. <laughs> it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed this entry. I really hope that we get more, honestly. I just want more about this. We also had like a, um, it's a new perspective. It wasn't in the first book or was it? It's been a while since I read book, uh, book one. So my mind is just like a little bit foggy with it. But that one, it felt like the reminiscent of a book one. You know, everyone kind of move on from book one, but that POV reminded me a lot of book one with all the spying stuff. So it was cool, you know, it was cool being back, but I just love that it went forwards. I really like that and I please need more. <laughs> I really like the kind of bittersweet ending that we got. It's just like how it's meant to be. You know, sometimes you get to an end and you're just like, I love it, but I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it. It's the same feeling that I got with the, um, oh, it's up there, the burning God. It was a terrible ending. But it was how it was supposed to end, you know? Anything different wouldn't be like true to the series. And I love that here too. You know, there, th th that final scene between the two characters was great. <laughs> and I love it. It's still kind of sad, but I loved it. So as I told you, I gave this one 4.5 out of 5 stars. I loved it. I just really want more in this world. Like I want more. So the other chunker that I finished this week was this book is so fucking heavy 
new title, <laughs> is Dreams of the Dying by Nicholas Litzau. I love this also. <laughs> I gave it like 4.75, almost 5 stars, I rounded it up to a 5 because man this was incredible. Basically in this one we follow Jesper Talbarek and he is a mercenary and he's asked to go to this empire on these islands. What are you doing Kat? What are you doing? To help basically with the situation that they have there with the kind of godlike almost emperor first merchant. Why, why are you eating the ring light? Stop it! And you know, things get messy. There are so many cool things about it. I just recorded a few of a pop up. <laughs> I just recorded a full review for this. It will uh, go up probably Friday or Saturday this week. I just really liked it. I love the, the dream world. I love the world building in general. I thought that it wasn't too much nor too little. It was right straight in the middle. Uh, this actually came from a Skyrim mod. <laughs> I didn't know that when I got the book, I was just like stoked, like what? Uh, I look into it a little bit more and indeed, if you want to know the mod name, you only need to search um, Enderal in Steam and you will find it, but damn, it was great. I really want to play that and yeah, my thoughts, my thoughts about this book are a little bit scattered because I finished this yesterday at 4 a.m. because I couldn't stop reading. I just ate the last 300 pages. <laughs> on one sitting because I was just like I need to know how this is going to end but the mystery aspect here I thought it was done really really greatly also there's a lot of talks about uh the effects of capitalism classism the you know oh just work hard and you can do whatever bullshit you know it's just great I, I love this I love how it starts and how it tells you a lot in the first sentence I read it yourself I don't want to tell you the correlation with the book because I don't want to spoil it but I was read, uh, I was writing my um, you know rating review and I just read the first sentence again it was just like a damn. <laughs> it was here all along you know it's just great great I love it if you have finished it the dream is a lie you know that <laughs> and I know that too but yeah I really like the conclusion I just love the whole story in general, there were some parts that were a little bit dragged, but you know, it's a 700 page book. I just don't really care that much, you know, it's meant to have like some ups and downs, so I just don't really care. And as I told you multiple times, I just really like slow books, so I just don't mind that. But yeah, overall, I would highly recommend this one if you really like fantasy or dark fantasy in general. It's not too gory. There's more uh, like a body horror because of the dream sequences here, the nightmare sequences, but nothing too outrageously dark. Some trigger warnings for you. We have a rape scene. We have, it's, it's a very light uh, rape scene. It's nothing descriptive, nothing like that. Then we have a attempted suicide. Brought, uh, it's brought several times in the story and body horror. I believe that's all of them. It's dark, you know, it's dark. The world is pretty <laughs> dark <laughs> in general, but it's not too, too horrowy, too dark. So I'm pretty sure, you know, your average fantasy reader could also enjoy this. And I will highly recommend it as a dark fantasy reader. I freaking adored it. <laughs> and I cannot wait to read a more set in this world because I just want to know more. I finished the book and I had like this feeling, like I want more. I want more now. <laughs> I know I'm, I won't get it now, but I really want it soon, Nicolas. I, I need it. But yeah, I really want this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I cannot recommend it enough. And the last book that I just literally finished a couple of minutes ago, I, I, I haven't even taken the bookmark off. I will take it out later. It's one of those magnets. This is Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. And oh boy, I really like this. I, I just don't know why, but I thought this was a YA book. And it's not because it's fucking published by Orbit. <laughs> I don't know, but I really, really like this. We basically follow like mainly three different POVs. We have Lin, which is the uh, Emperor's daughter. And she's trying to learn this magic called the Bone Shard magic, basically. You get a 
shards of bone from people and with that you basically power up magical constructs that you made out of different parts of animals or people or whatever it sounds fucking scary it was sometimes because we have like people with multiple limbs in pieces of creatures and it was weird but fascinating it was probably my favorite storyline out of the main three because we have another one but the main three and the twist in this storyline was top notch you know i saw one coming but the second one i fucking ate like until i was there i didn't realize and it was fantastic <laughs> the other perspective that we have here is um jovis and i quite like it i feel like i liked it uh i liked it more on the beginning i don't know it was more mysterious than lynn's pov at first you know we have an island that sunks for some reason <laughs> and then it was just like wait what and he finds this creature and it becomes an animal companion and you know what is one of the first animal companions that i actually had enjoy have enjoyed the last time that i say that i hate animal companions is because i'm someone who suffers a lot with animal death in general even if it's just like this one dog that appears and the mc has to kill for some reason i just suffer a lot with that so every time that i see an animal companion i fucking suffer and i'm in tension throughout the whole book and with this i didn't feel that i actually really liked it i actually really liked it i don't know why, but this we approve that i think was the most interesting part i'm more into uh i think the beginning and the end of jelvis arc were were the best parts of it the middle mm, i didn't find it quite uh particularly special i was more interested in coming back to lynn's pov to just get to know more about the magic but the beginning and the end incredible then we also have the other one which i wasn't really a fan of if i'm being honest the other one was follow we do have uh, more perspectives but i just want to focus on these three these main three because the other ones are kind of spoilery so i just don't want to talk about them you should read the book if you want to know more <laughs> but follow was okay honestly i just you know we have kind of a revolution thing going on here and the thing is we have another revolution thing going on here and i like the way it was handled better in this one than in this one so i wasn't as invested probably because you know i was more invested on the other one so i was kind of comparing them both multiple times and i was just like okay okay it's not bad it's not bad but it didn't like, just like grab my attention all the time so yeah overall i i really enjoyed this i haven't read this one yet but probably four 4.5 stars i thought it was great i read it in a day and a half yeah a day and a half and it was super binge worthy honestly such a good book and it's also a debut book like dreams of the dying i've been really lucky lately with debut authors and I will highly recommend that you check this one out. The magic is fascinating. You know, like bone carving and such. Super cool. Super cool. There are many twists. I cannot wait to read uh, the sequel, which is um, The Bone Emperor, I believe it's called. But I'm so glad the Space Sirens picked this one for this month. What a great choice. I know Judith really loved this, but she was totally right. <laughs> <laughs> like this was fucking great so those were uh the three books that i read this week i'm currently listening to uh ring shout by jelly clark and i'm, I'm like 10 percent in i'm really liking it so far it, it just has great dark humor so that that's my thing like sarcastic dark humor i love but you know like funny funny humor not really my jam so i'm thoroughly enjoying this one for now they were just basically killing kkk members in the first chapter it's fantastic so that's what i'm currently reading uh because i just finished my physical read dreams of the dying i need to start the other one i don't know if i'm going to start um with seven deaths of an empire or the black tom thief i think i'm going to prioritize i think they both come out in june actually <laughs> now i'm now i'm confused i don't know which one i'm going to start reading next uh i will probably just read the first chapters of these ones and i will let you know here which one i have chosen 
when I'm editing this. And also, I've made a change on my TVR in the graphic novel department because one of my friends just gifted some graphic novels to me this week and I just want to read them. <laughs> so I'm changing Lucifer for Diseased, which is a zombie version of the DC universe, <laughs> which I've been really wanting to read, honestly. <laughs> for what I remember is basically, oh my god, I just saw Nightwing! I just saw <laughs> Nightwing, goddammit! Nightwing is my favorite DC hero, by the way, just letting you know. <laughs> I've always wanted to read this for years, like, and when I found this edition, I added it to my wish list, and one of my friends got it for me last week. For uh, it was actually for my birthday, but we, you know, our our lovely friend didn't allow us to meet until right now. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to change that. I just wanted something a little bit. I'm not going to say lighter. <laughs> because death and destruction but something a little bit faster so i'm reading this one but yeah that was basically all if you are thinking about picking dreams of the dying do not doubt i think you will probably really like it if you felt like other books that i have recommended you i really need to do a video on dark fantasy recommendations like i've been loving dark fantasy again lately if you have any recommendations any questions whatever you want you can leave them down in the comments below and as always i will see you in the next one bye